It's Jay, and welcome back to my channel. First off, happy Canada Day to all my fellow Canadians out there. Today, we're going to be doing my July plan with me. Let's get started, shall we? For July, I wanted to do a light and bright theme and decided to consult with the resident July baby of my family, my sister, who decided on a pink, gray, baby blue, and yellow palette. For the decorative elements this month, I decided to go with paper airplanes and clouds. Obviously, we can't travel right now, so I'll settle for a paper airplane. This theme also really reminds me of Icon Song Airplane, which I'm totally okay with. As you saw and heard in my last time with me, this is only my second time setting up a bullet journal spread, so I'm still trying to work out the kinks and find out what works best for me, so this month I'm sticking to the basics. For the title page, I'm writing July in caps with my blue mild liner, and then writing over that in cursive. For decorations, I'm drawing in some clouds and have two paper airplanes flying around the word July. I actually really like all the negative space in the spread as it really allows the colors to pop. Last month's space spread was great aesthetically but slightly overwhelming to use, so I'm glad that I'm keeping it simple for July. The page beside my title page will be home to technically two spreads, uh, consisting of two calendars and my brain dump. I found that having my calendar with each date in boxes wasn't really useful and just up just took up more space because I didn't write in the box itself. So when I was planning for July, I really wanted my calendar spreads to have intent. And that's why I decided to have two. My first calendar is just a plain numbered one with the dates of the week that could be used as a reference. And the second calendar I have is a vertical calendar to hold my important dates. For this calendar, I have the numbers 1 to 31 running down the side of the page with blank space beside it so that I can write when events or things are going to happen. I wrote the weekends in pink to add a pop of color, and with the remaining blank space, I decided to put my monthly brain dump. This is also a lesson that I learned from June where I dedicated an entire page for my brain dump, but I didn't write in it as much as I thought I would. I don't know if this third of a page, quarter of a page, I think a little more than a third of a page will be sufficient enough, but I'll give it a try. For my fonts this month, I'm sticking to either a bold caps or my Lucy cursive. And then for decorations, I'm just going to be sticking to the color scheme and adding a paper airplane at the bottom. And this will complete this two in one, three in one page and spread. My next set of spreads is my goal spread and my gratitude spread. For my goal spread, I decided to make it paper airplanes and I apologize now because some of them aren't that pretty. I put my title of goals in the bottom in the same duo font of caps and cursives and my plan for the spread is to write my goals inside each of the paper airplanes. For July, I decided that my monthly challenge will be to do the Chloe Ting fitness challenge. I don't know how this is going to work or if I'm going to die in the first week of doing this, but I may make a video about this, so I'll keep you posted. For my purpose of July, I decided to make it find balance. My May purpose was to reconnect with my body, and my June purpose was to make wellness a priority. And I found while these purposes were great, I just couldn't find a happy medium in my day-to-day -day life, if that makes sense. I was either giving my 110% to something and then burning out a few days afterwards, or I was half-assing, pardon my French, everything, and then feeling guilty. And it was just this repetitive cycle. So I wanted to make my priority in July to find the happy medium, to find that balance between all I want to do and what my mental and physical capacity can do. Also, quick side note, I filmed this video earlier than I usually do, so my goals for health, books, and fun are still to be determined.
For my gratitude spread, it's going to be the same layout as it is every single month where I've done this since I've started in April, where each day will be written out on this page, and then every day I will write one good thing beside that day. For my title, I wrote the word gratitude in black and surrounded it with a great cloud, and then the colorful clouds will be home to the daily gratitudes. These colorful clouds actually remind me of clone candy for some reason, and I'm not mad about it. And if you haven't noticed, I'm keeping a lot of negative space in all these spreads to let the substance of it all to do the talking, if that makes any sense. Once again, I'm keeping it really simple just because while I loved my space team in June, it felt a little overwhelming to do or to complete things because I was worried about the aesthetic of it all and how it's going to look like when it's completed in comparison to actually using the spreads and utilizing them the way it was supposed to be without thinking about the aesthetics. My next spread is my habit trackers. For this spread, I'm spinning up the title with the words habits going in the top corner with a paper airplane and the word trackers going to the bottom surrounded by clouds. This is one of the spreads that I really wanted to go back to the basics for. While I loved how colorful and cute my June habit tracker was, I have to admit, I wasn't that great with my habits this June. And I think that all kind of relates to how that spread and the coloring of circles just didn't give me the same satisfaction as other habit trackers that I've liked. Maybe this is just a me thing, but I quite enjoy like checking off the things that I'm done and it gives me like a, a little bump of motivation but I didn't really get that in June. So for my weekly habits I decided to go back to my original weekly tracking spread with a grid that hosts all of my habits. This format is what I use to track my weekly habits for I think three or so years and it kind of felt nice to go back to my roots. For my daily habit tracker, I use the same format as I used in my March plan to meet, with calendar stamps for each habit, which then I will cross off or color. I haven't really decided yet. Also, I finally have an ink step, so no more coloring in each day with the calligraphy pen. Something you will notice, however, when I flip the page is that the ink from the stamp bleeds through very heavily. So. It kind of messed up how my budget spread looks like, but I will deal with it for now. I wrote down all my daily habits on top of each mini calendar, and then I also made an extra habit that I left blank for now, as I don't know if I want to integrate some new habits or if I'll need space for a monthly challenge. Only time will tell with this. My last two spreads before my weekly spreads are my budget spread and my July reflections page. As I mentioned a bit earlier, the ink from the calendar stamps from my habit tracker did bleed through the page, but I'm not going to let it bother me that much. Trying to remember that aesthetics in the bullet journal is not a main priority. It is being able to use the bullet journal effectively in a way that makes your life easier. So. This spread is going to be the same as it always has been with me, has been for me, I'm so sorry, the coffee hasn't really kicked in yet. And just like last month and like my April plan with me, I've decided to make the lines on the page for my purchases or expenses or extra income with my mild liners. But this time, instead of just using one color, I decided to use my entire color palette. I will admit, we are getting better at making straight lines. Improvement, that's all that matters.
Next, we have my July reflection page. And the setup for this is very similar to my gratitude spreads where I really focused on the cloud aspect of my design. So I put the title at the top in the clouds and then put some clouds at the bottom. And then the rest will be filled out at the end of July. Although I still can't believe that we're halfway through the year. But as always, my reflection will be filled out at the end of July with just my thoughts and how the month went and how I think I did things in correlations to my goals. This is something that I only started integrating this year and it's always been a really good page to look back on. Our last set of spreads are just my weekly spreads for July. In June, I tried a bunch of different weekly spread styles to see what I liked and I found that having one page dedicated to the week that I could use for future planning, my drink tracker, my steps, and then having one page for daily bullet journaling really worked the best for me. So all my spreads in July are like this, just with some variations to how the weekly planning portion is set up. If you do have suggestions for a weekly spread that you think I'll like, please leave it in the comments below. I love trying to find new spreads and layouts that I could do and I'm hoping that I find one or a couple that I really do enjoy. Similar to how I did my May plan with me, I'm using the colors of my palette this month and dedicating a week to that specific color motif. So the first week of July is blue. My second week of July is going to be pink. The third week is going to be yellow. The fourth week is going to be gray. And the last week will just be all of the color palette. Each of my weekly spreads will have the data planning area and a place for my steps and drink trackers, as well as a monthly calendar stamp. Another thing is that I did mention this in my bullet journal setup video, but if you haven't watched that, please do. Um, but the Starbucks notebook that I'm using actually has three different paper types. So the first section is blank, the second is dotted, and the third is grid. And the third week of July actually starts off the dotted section of this planner. I haven't actually used dotted paper before. I know, I know, shame on me, but I'm excited to try it out for the next little bit and maybe I'll get a fully dotted bullet journal for the next time I have to switch over. Quick side note because I forgot to mention this at the start of the video and I'm surprised that I forgot it. All of the erasing, the adding of steps, drink, trackers, birthdays, important dates, washi tape and other decorations will be done at the end of this video off screen but you'll see the final look in the flip flip with me flip through so sorry about that well that concludes today's video i really like the use of colors and how simple everything is and i'm hoping that july is going to be a good month not just for me but for all of you watching i hope that you're taking care of yourself and you find that balance that I'm trying to find in July. Love you to the moon and back. Jay.